Hello Caravan, I'm Noah Sanchez and today I'm here with art and video media teacher, lacrosse coach and swimming coach, Mr. McGuire. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Now I'm just going to ask you a few questions so then students, teachers and other faculty members can get to know you a little bit more personally. All right, awesome. What did you like best about where you grew up? Um, so I was a swim, like a pool rat my whole life. And uh, when I was a little kid, uh, our community pool was only a couple blocks away, and it was the, the greatest pool, it was this huge 50-meter pool. And so I basically would go there every single day in the summer, and my mom almost never knew where I was. Well, did, did know where I was, but I was always there. So that was one thing about my community that I liked. Uh, where was this? I grew up in Hinsdale. Okay. If you could have a meal with anyone, fictional, dead, alive, famous or not, who would it be? Uh, I would like to have a meal with uh, a guy named Jerry Garcia, who was the lead guitarist for the Grateful Dead. Okay. What's something that you would like want to talk about with him? Yes. Oh my God, the the subject matter would be endless. Uh, how he got into playing music, uh, his vast knowledge of like uh, bluegrass and blues and all that kind of stuff. It, he would just be a source of a lot of information. Okay, sounds like it would be an interesting meal. Yeah. What's your favorite movie quote? Um, growing up, I really liked the movie Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. And during the movie, there's always like, in like heat of the battle, they would look at each other like, who are these guys? And so I, I thought it was, that was that's a hilarious quote. And I used it with my friends. Like, you know, we'd be out somewhere and be like, who are these guys? And, you know, they were getting chased by the Pinkertons and they, the Pinkertons would never stop, and like there'd be a gun battle, and like they both would look at each other, like, "Who are these guys?" So that that was mine. Is a uh, would you recommend that movie to our viewers who haven't seen it? Yes, I think that's a great movie. It's like uh, uh, not a corny western. It's a good one of the better good westerns that's out there. Yeah, it's a good movie. Who's the coolest celebrity that you've ever met? I haven't really met any celebrities, I guess. Um, the only celebrity I kind of met was uh, my brother, Ryan, uh, owns his own recording studio, and a guy that was recording there won American Idol. And so, and I, I, I kind of knew that guy, so I guess that, that would count as that. Okay. You could have also always picked the teacher default answer, Jordan Lynch. I could say the teacher default answer of Jordan yes. Lynch. What was your favorite or most interesting job before coming to work at Mount Carmel? So um, before coming to Mount Carmel, I was a commodity broker at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Um, while I was there, I owned my own business. Uh, I traded and was a broker in interest rate futures, uh, euro dollars or something called LIBOR, which is the London Interbank Offered Rate. So it's quite the opposite of what I'm doing now as an art teacher. It was all math and um, salesmanship and knowing the markets and reacting to the markets. So okay. Sounds it was, interesting. It was, it was a lot of fun. Sounds interesting. It was kind of like here. It was like almost all, entirely all men. It was like an all, all old old boys club. Ah. So, so not much of a change there. Not much of a change there. What's one thing that people would be surprised to know about you? Uh, in high school, I was a singer in a hardcore punk band. Really? Yeah. What was the name of your band? Uh, we changed the name quite often. Uh, one time we called it Club Sandwiches, which I don't even know what where that came from. Uh, one time it was called uh, the Three Bens, you know, Ben lied to, Ben had, and Ben raked over coals. <laughs> it was high school, and we were angsty teenagers. So that's certainly an interesting <laughs> thing to know. What's your favorite binge-worthy TV show? Um, I, I read Game of Thrones before watching Game of Thrones, and, and binge-watching Game of Thrones was really good until the last, like, three episodes. Uh, but up until that point, I thought it was pretty good. Would, you, go would you recommend this uh, show to our viewers? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Game of Thrones is an awesome TV uh, experience. Okay. Read the books first. Always read the books first. Yes. If you could learn to do anything, what would it be? Um, I would pick the guitar back up. I, I tried to play 
when I was in high school in a hardcore punk band, and then I put it down and never picked it back up. I, I really wish I stuck with it and could play the guitar. Like electric guitar or just ah, it doesn't matter. Okay, well maybe either. Maybe Mr. Milovicus can uh, teach you as well. Sure, that would work. That would work. We have some music similarities. He likes some of the same stuff. There works. you go. What's one thing that's still on your bucket list, if you have one? Um, I would love to go see Iceland and Greenland. Um, in actually, both winter and summer, there's supposed to be an experience that is supposed to be just amazing. And so that's one thing. Some travel, I guess, travel to those places. What's something that you would like want to go do there? Because that's like a... Those are two places that I never really hear people say that they would want to visit. Um, so like, what is there that you would want to do? So I know, like Iceland, like the, uh, there's a little bit of a glacier. There's great hiking. The, it's very, very remote. Like the towns are not very close to each other. There's like one main town, but like it's pretty rural. It's pretty um, relaxed and calm, and it's a pretty chill place. Okay. What was the last book that you read? Uh, last summer I read Dune. Um, that was like my. It's a very, the book's like that fat, so I wanted to reread that. So I read Dune. Would you recommend this book to anyone who is willing to read a book this a thick? Absolutely, I would absolutely read. I, I like those science fiction kind of sci-fi books, and a lot of times they're like that fat. So yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, now the most divisive question amongst the teachers. Who do you prefer, Cubs or Sox? All right, so I have a pretty elaborate answer on this this question right here. So um, my grandfather uh, played for the White Sox. He was on the 1919 team. Um, they were allowed to have extra players until the playoffs. So he didn't make the playoff roster. He was a spitball pitcher. Um, it, he had returned from World War I and was on the 1919 White Sox. Okay, so that's that half of the answer. Okay. The previous half of the answer is before he went to World War I, he played for the Chicago Whales. He played for the Chicago Whales for about six years. The Chicago Whales played at Wrigley Field, and when they just kind of dissembled the Federal League, a lot of those players kind of migrated to the Cubs and stayed in the Chicago area and became part of that like Cubs program. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on a limb and say both which is not very, in Chicago, it's, it's kind of like the worst answer. It's worse than saying Cubs or Sox if you say both, so both. Okay, uh, I guess for both of them, or just one, whichever one you care about, do you have like a favorite player on one of them? Um, I mean, growing up, I went to a lot of Cubs games. Ernie Banks was always the guy, so I like, really liked Ernie Banks. Okay. What's your favorite song or favorite band? Uh, favorite band, uh, I listened to a band called King Crimson, which is a, was a really popular band in the, the late 60s, and they've continued, they're still playing today. Uh, they're kind of a progressive rock band, so they're still one of my favorite bands. Okay. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Uh, definitely fly. Like, I definitely want to fly. The same a lot of time. Yes. Uh, you can get to places very quickly. Yes. You know. I need to go pick up some bread. So I'll be right back. Very popular answer amongst the Very teachers. What advice do you have for working at Mount Carmel for an incoming teacher? Um, have fun, enjoy what you're doing, and don't take yourself too serious because um, it allows you to relax more and allows you to, to be a little bit more um, approachable from your students take yourself too seriously they're gonna be like I don't really want to deal with that guy yeah. so that would be my advice okay that's great advice what's your favorite vacation spot um, Lake Geneva uh, but up there my parents had a house up there for a while uh, we would go up there all the time I met my wife up there I worked up there as a lifeguard uh, worked up there there's a, something called the water safety patrol you would patrol boats around the lake I worked for them for a while so Lake Geneva for sure what's like what's something that you love to do up there when you go um, my wife and I there's a sh Lake Geneva is a rare lake there's an actual shore path that goes the entire around the entire lake 
So walks around the lake, especially like early in the morning when there's not a people, a lot of people around. It's, it's absolutely awesome. It's it's better not in the summer when there's more people that are not there. It's yeah. it's very calming and relaxing. So uh, walking the shore path. That sounds fun. And now final question and my personal favorite. If you could pick any of your fellow faculty members to be your tag team wrestling partner, who would it be? I would absolutely pick Mrs. Chepetto. Uh, and we would be the Art Assassins. Oh, that's a great name. We, that's who we would, we would dominate everybody. Yes, I, I would love to see that. Well, that's all the questions that I have. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you for having me.